Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adele, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bible and turn with me to Psalm number 119. And let's look at verse 67 as a text verse. Notice what the Bible says here. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now have I kept thy word. And friends, I certainly pray that God would add his great blessings to the reading of his holy word on this beautiful day. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, beloved, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled Spiritual Training. You know, beloved, the primary New Testament Greek word for training or instruction is the word padia. It is based on the verb padio, which is based on the primitive Greek word pious, a child boy or a servant. Therefore, as its base meaning, padia means child training. Because Christians needed training in righteousness, padia entered the New Testament epistles to refer to the way God trains and disciples us as his children. Every parent knows that children come into the world with a will of their own. The parent's job is to train children in the way that they should go, so when they are older, they will not depart from it. Sometimes that training is uncomfortable, even painful. When we are born again by the Spirit through faith in Christ, a similar task begins. God trains the Christian toward the goal of being conformed to the image of the Lord Jesus Christ. And yes, sometimes training can be uncomfortable and even painful, but there's always a reason and a goal for the training. My friend, allow God to use your life's pain to create deeper faith and greater maturity in you. God uses everything in your life for your good and his glory, even the hard things. Think about this, and now let's pray together. Lord, how grateful and thankful we are that you choose to train us in the way that we should go. And we pray that we'll always, Lord, accept your will for our lives. And we'll thank you for what you do. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion blessed you today. And if it did, you bless someone else by sharing it with them remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Have a wonderful day.